this was why did you send me there? Like I was so aggravated. You don't understand. Hey man, what's good YouTube man? Y'all already know man. It's your boy has the pop P O P. Hold it down, man. Y'all already know I'm back at it again with another video. You know what I'm saying, man? If you're new to the channel, man, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Hit that subscribe for me. You know what I'm saying? Hit that subscribe button, like the video, and leave a comment. Leave the leave like your juiciest part. Like leave a for the juiciest part. You know what I'm saying? But anyways. So today's story time is about to be when I got shipped to Africa, no cap. It all started from one little fight. I don't know if y'all know me. People who know me, they say I'm a little too aggressive. Like I'm always aggressive. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's just my nature. Like this was the worst thing ever in my life. Like my father, he basically got into my head. He was like, yo, you wanna go to your aunt's house? I'm like, yeah, I wanna go to my aunt's house. My aunt, bro, she was the, she's the favorite. Like she's my favorite aunt, like of all times. Like she's the MVP of like all time. She literally bought me my first bike. She did a lot of stuff, like, you know what I'm saying? As an aunt, like, you don't really have to do all that for a kid, but she did all that for me, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, what led up to me getting sent to Africa? People wanna know, people wanna know. So I got into a fight during orientation. I used to go to Kappa. Well, I never attended Kappa because I was going to attend Kappa. We went there for orientation and I got into a fight during orientation because one of these little stupid kids want to call me an African booty scratcher. Oh, I look like the type to be called an African booty scratcher and just walk away like, okay, thank you, sir. Thank you. No, I'm on that ass. Like, pause. You know what I'm saying? Pause. I'm on that ass, like, yes, sir. You called who African booty scratcher? We on that ass. So he called me African booty scratcher, you know what I'm saying? So we had to get the one-ons, you know what I'm saying? Shoot it out, like, you know what I'm saying? But we got into the fight. I was a kid at the time. I was 10 years old, cause it was 2014. Um, I'ma show y'all, I'ma show y'all, I'ma show y'all the back of my passport just so y'all could, hold on. It was, it was 2014, like this was 2014 when I got shipped to Africa. But yeah, so I was a kid. So you know, a little kid fighting, little kids fighting, it was not that. Like right now fighting, like you are fighting to kill. But back then it was just fighting, you know what I'm saying? Little, you know what I'm saying? Nothing really crazy. So I got into this fight. The principal brought me home. Every single time, like I get a phone call home cause I always used to be in detention. I used to be a detention kid. My grades was good, but I always used to be in detention. If I'm not in detention, I got suspended. If I'm not in detention, I got suspended or some shit like, you know what I'm saying? So now the principal brought me home. The principal brought me home and he dropped me off. My father, bro, didn't say sh nothing to me, not a word. I thought when I saw my pops, like he was gonna smack me and then he was gonna tell me like, yo, what's wrong with you? Why are you doing this? Like, cause every single time I would get into anything in school, come home, I already know I'm getting that ass whoop. It, it, it used to be times when I get that ass whoop, like I couldn't even sit in class. I used to be like, you know what I'm saying? Playing it off like, I used to play that drone off cause I ain't never want to like go to school and then act like that. Like, they knew like, yo, he got his ass whooped at home. Like always used to play it off. Yeah, so my principal brought me home and then my pops never said nothing to me. He didn't tell me anything. He didn't say, yo, why did you get into a fight? Why did you get suspended? This, this, and that. Mind you, this is orientation. Like this is to get into, like this is not even, I don't even know. This was some type of orientation. Like we didn't even start classes, no nothing. This was September 28th. No, September 27th, something like that. So now, I got home, you know what I'm saying? My pops, he didn't say nothing to me. This nigga bought me candy. Oh, he needs God. some my milk. Pops never buy me candy, you know what I'm saying? As an African pops, you would never buy your kid candy. Like, you know what I'm saying? My parents was always strict, like 100%. So he bought me candy, loosened me up. Like he loosened me up. Like I'm like, oh, like I ain't in trouble. Like I just got into a whole fight and you not saying nothing and you just bought me a candy. It was all a setup. He bought me a candy, you know what I'm saying? He bought me a candy. Then he took me to the passport place to take my passport picture. Oh my God. Hold up. Y'all can see, right? Yeah. Yeah, y'all can see. He took me to get my passport picture taken. Oh my God. I'm thinking, oh, you know what I'm saying? This is he trying to treat me like, you know what I'm saying? Cause American kids, you know what I'm saying? They get, they like their parents be treating them. So, you know, that's normal to them. So if my parents is treating me like, I'm like, oh, like, wow. Like I'm an African kid that's getting treats. Like what? Like I'm not a dog though. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying. 
So my pops was treating me like he bought me candy, took me out. Like he even gave me a hit. Like if y'all can see in the picture, like I got a haircut. Like, you know what I'm saying? I used to get the baldy every day in school. Like I used to get the baldy, but yeah, like, my pops used to give me a baldy every time I go to school. I used to be ashamed every day. So now he gave me a haircut, bought me candy, took me to like, took a picture of me. Like, I'm like, damn, like, yo, my pops must be proud of me. Like, did I beat the kid up so bad? Like he's happy, like he's proud of me. Yo, I did not know what was coming for me. He told me, nah, like he's about to send me to my, my favorite aunt. Like she bought me a bike. She like the MVP goes to her. Like she did it. Like, a lot for me. I love her to death, like, you know what I'm saying? So she bought me my first bike, so he told me I'm going to her house in North Carolina. I'm like, word? Bro, I used to love, when I hear going to somebody's house, I used to love going there, like, you know what I'm saying? I love going there. So now I'm going there. My father told me, okay, you going there. So now I'm like, yay, like, when can I leave? When can I leave? He said, he's gonna get everything. He's gonna buy the ticket and everything he's gonna send me. Me, as a kid, I don't really know anything about these stuff, like, you know what I'm saying? So the next day, like I got, I got into a fight. Like let's say I got into a fight today. Tomorrow he makes sure I get a haircut, picture, everything done. The next day he's shipping me to Africa. Like that was crazy. Like in three days I got sent to Africa, no cap. Like that was so crazy. My pops took me to the airport with my mom, my siblings. I'm the oldest by the way. So me, my mom, my siblings. I'm at the airport. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm supposed to be going to my aunt's crib, but you know what I'm saying? I don't know how to, I, I knew how to read, but I didn't really think about, oh, like reading where I'm going. And it doesn't say North Carolina. It would say like CH something or um like Bamako, like where I'm from in Africa. It would say BKO. It wouldn't say Bamako. It wouldn't say Mali. So, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know those type of stuff when I was that little. And he was at the airport or whatever. And then he was like, yeah, I'm going to send you there for like probably like a month or two. You know what I'm saying? Just to clear your head up. I'm like, okay, cool. A month or two turn into six years of hell. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. And you're not really fine. You really just can't get into it because six never years understood. of hell. Now, I'm not, matter of fact, hell is dragging it because I, I ain't gonna lie, I had one of the best times in my life out there. I had everything. I like, I did everything out there. Like, no cap. There's nothing you can name I did not do out there. So now he puts me out there. I'm on a, I'm on a um, flight to Africa. But meanwhile, he didn't like, he didn't tell me anything that. He didn't tell me nothing like, oh, you going to Africa? Because I would have never went. I would have been like, hell no. Like, even though I was young, I would have been like, hell no. Like, what I look, I'm not going to Africa. Like, no. The first stop was at, um, I think the first stop was at Air, like, I was traveling with Air France. So the first stop was at Paris. You know what I'm saying? We got to Paris. And then I'm like, yo, like, I still haven't arrived at my aunt's crib. Like, what's going on? Like, and then the flights got canceled. Not, not canceled. Actually, the flights got postponed or some shit like that because of like the weather. It was, I showed you, it was during September. I think it was snowing at the time or something like that or something was going on. And then the airports was like, they had to shut down the airports for like a whole week. So now I'm in Paris for a whole week. After the week, you know what I'm saying? I had fun out there OD. After the week, I took a flight from Paris to Mali. When I got to Mali, when I arrived to Mali. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't air, get into like, it because they I, would I never knew, understand. Like, yeah, I, I have fucked up. That was at the moment I knew I fucked up. Like, like the air quality was just bad. Like I knew I, this is not no North Carolina. Like I'm like, damn, like where am I? And I'm looking, I'm looking around. I'm like, oh my God, my father caught me. A 10 year old sending me to Africa. Like this was, why did you send me there? Like I was so aggravated. You don't understand. Oh my God. I was like, damn, like this is this is time. Like, you know how when you commit a crime and then you get caught and you like, damn, like I should have never done this. Like it was like getting into a fight and then I was getting that ass whooped. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh my God, why am I in Africa? Yo. I sound like a little kid right now, but this is how I was. Like, I was so tight and mad, and like, you don't know how much anger. I still got anger in me though. Nah, let me stop. I'm always laughing. People don't know what's being. You know, let me not even talk about that. But yo, I had so much anger. My aunt picked me up. She was like, I was like, hey, my auntie, where am I? Where am I? She was like, we in Africa. I said, huh? She was like, yeah, we in Africa. I said, oh my god, I fucked up.
But at first, like, you know what I'm saying? In Africa, like, at first, for the, f like, first year, it was cool. The first year, they was treating me good, you know what I'm saying? American, American. Then, it got to a point, like, I'm not American no more. I spent six years out there, six years locked up in Africa. You know what I'm saying? It was six years locked up in Mali, actually. Bamako. Yeah. Shit was so crazy. Like, I don't know what was I thinking, like... And, and and the crazy part is my parents, like all African parents, I know you can relate to this if you're watching this right now. All African parents think sending their kids to Africa is gonna change them. It's not, trust me, it's not. Sending me to Africa did not change me. It made me worse. It made me stronger. It made me tougher. <laughs> nah, let me see. <laughs> nah, no cap though. Like, sending your kids to Africa is not gonna change you at all. Like, it's just gonna make them bad, worse. Like, I look, I picked up so many bad skills out there. Like, when I mean bad skills, like, a lot of good stuff, but, like, a lot of bad, too. Like, it was so crazy. Like, I wouldn't recommend sending your kid to Africa. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just, like, talk to them. Like, get them that ass book. Like, you know what I'm saying? Out there is more freedom than America. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's what people fail to realize. There's a lot of freedom in Africa, so like, if I get sent to Africa, I'ma like, have fun. I'ma do what I wanna do. Nobody could control me, like, I, like you know what I'm saying? Out here, it's like, I'm old, like, I'm just talking as a kid. I'm not talking about right now. As, as a kid, like, I'm just gonna be in the crib. Like, I can't even go outside. Like, I'm not old enough to do none of that. In Africa, if you want, you can go outside. Nothing, nothing is gonna happen. Like, you know what I'm saying? Regular. But yeah, yo, this is the... This is the end, man. If you got to this point, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was just trying to tell you how my pops tricked me to send me to Africa for fucking six years, bro. This shit was crazy. No cap. But if you made it to the end of this video, I want you to give this a subscribe if you're new to my channel. Give this channel a subscribe. My channel, you're not going to regret it. Like, you know what I'm saying? You're not going to regret subscribing to my channel. That's one. And two, if you like the story time, you want another story time, give this a like. You know what I'm saying? Ding! Give it a like. You know what I'm saying? And leave a comment down below on the next video, next story time you want to hear. No cap. I'm going to give it to y'all. But y'all already know, man. I'm about to be out of here. You know what I'm mean? saying? Y'all dead? Man, stay tuned for the next YouTube video, YouTube video.